Hello, I'm Cornelius Fichtner, PMP, and in this video we are going to take a look at what the 2012 release of the Pimbok Guide 5th edition means to you as a PMP student. In particular, we are going to show you what effect the Pimbok Guide 5th edition has on the PMP exam, and more importantly, what version of study materials you should be using in your PMP exam preparation. But before I can do this, I have to give you the following disclaimers. This video here was recorded in January of 2012, and as I'm recording this, PMI, the Project Management Institute, has not made any official statements in regards to release dates and change dates. So the information that you're going to get here is based on my experience from the years 2004 and 2008, when the PMBOK guide versions at that time were released and how this now translates into the 2012 release of the PMBOK Guide 5th edition. And with that disclaimer out of the way, here is the most important information in this video. My recommendations for all those out there who are thinking about taking the PMP exam. If you are planning to take your exam before June 2013, then go ahead and study for the exam using the PMBOK Guide 4th edition, as well as study materials that are based on the 4th edition. If, however, you are planning to take your exam after June of 2013, then you have to use the 5th edition materials once they become available on the market. And these recommendations are based on this schedule here that I'm expecting PMI to take in regards to releasing the PMBOK Guide 5th edition. In January or February of this year, a draft version will be released. Then from February to August of 2012, we, the project management community at large, are asked to give review and feedback notes back to PMI so that any possible updates can be made. And then on December 31st, 2012, the PMBOK Guide 5th edition will be released. This means that about half a year after that, sometime in June, maybe even July of 2013, the PMP exam will be switched over to the PMBOK Guide 5th edition. If we turn this information into a timeline, into a Gantt chart, this here is what we get. On line two, PMBOK Guide 5th edition released, a draft version uh, in February of this year. Then we have a public review period, followed by line number four, PMBOK Guide 5 official release date at the end of 2012. That means, and this is the big blue line at the top, until about June or July of 2012, the PMP exam will be based on the PMP. Bock Guide 4th edition, which means until then you can use study materials that are based on the Pimbock Guide 4th edition. And only after that will you be required to switch over to study materials that are based on the 5th edition. So, to repeat my recommendation for you, if you plan to have your exam before June 2013, study the PMBOK Guide 4th edition and use materials that are based on the PMBOK Guide 4th edition. If you are planning to take your exam after about June of 2013, then you'll have to switch over to the 5th edition materials. However, these type of materials, they will not become available until about March, maybe April of 2013. Until then, make sure that you are using study materials from a reputable source. Our company is a PMI registered education provider and as such we are required to ensure that all our products are always up to date to the latest PMP exam standard. So, if you are looking for an excellent PMP exam preparation video course that will teach you everything you need to know in order to prepare for and pass your PMP exam, then check out the Project Management Prepcast at pmprepcast.com. 
Thank you very much for your interest and until next time.